Sanchai is a Muay Thai living legend and his trademark moves are based on a particular athletic foundation that he's naturally exploited to awesome effect. Sanchai is an elastic animal. He's super efficient at storing and returning elastic energy in his muscles and tendons. And something that sports scientists call stretch shortening cycle. And not everyone's developed a body that can do this, but you can if you train for it. Let's look at how you can use your strength and conditioning sessions to achieve this ability too. The most effective way to develop that crazy elastic speed and power is using plyometrics. But before we can pick suitable exercises, we first need to take a closer look at Sanchai's movement to determine whether it's fast or slow stretch shortening cycle that's in effect. Fast stretch shortening cycle uses a spring return of energy in 250 milliseconds or less, and slow stretch shortening cycle returns in longer than 250 milliseconds. The plyo exercises that we need to choose develop either fast or slow stretch shortening cycle accordingly. So let's start by doing a slow motion analysis of how Sanchai is moving. As Sanchai sets up to throw a body kick here, he takes 0.26 of a second to generate force on the floor to throw this kick. And that's his ground contact time. So as a stretch shortening cycle, where we preload the muscle to get an elastic reaction, that just tips into what we'd classify as a slow stretch shortening cycle to generate the force for this kick. He then sets up to throw a low kick and this time takes 0.3 of a second to generate his force on the floor. Again, we'd classify this as a slow stretch shortening cycle. So with little bounce and just generating the force kind of cold from the floor, that's what we're getting. But now we see later in the fight, Sanchai starts to find his bounce and his rhythm. And as he sets up for this one, he uses what I call a bounce step, where he drops his weight into his rear leg, keeping the heel off the floor. And this uses that elastic energy in the calf. And if we take a closer look here, we can see that his rear leg is in contact with the floor, but his lead leg is actually not in contact with the floor. So he's dropping most of his weight into that rear leg to power it up. That stab of elastic energy only takes 0.13 of a second to spring and return from the floor. And in this way, Sanchai uses a fast stretch shortening cycle to launch into his trademark question mark kick. And on landing that kick, he now plants his foot squarely down onto the floor, again, with the majority of the pressure on that rear foot with the heel raised, giving us a plyometric contraction in his calf as he keeps that lead foot off the floor and he instantaneously summons another fast stretch shortening cycle with a ground contact time of about 0.2 seconds. And this time, he chooses to use that energy to take it into a teep. And you can see he's rather pleased with himself there. And now as his opponent advances onto him, he now uses what I call a drop cut. So he stabs that front foot into the floor keeping the rear foot off the floor. And that drop of his center of gravity into the lead foot with the heel raised allows a plyometric contraction of 0.13 seconds. Again, a fast stretch shortening cycle. And this allows him to drive his lead foot back explosively quickly to avoid that kick. And as he continues his retreat, as his opponent advances, he then decides to use that backward momentum to plant that rear leg again in what I'd call a drop cut. And this time, instead of changing direction to move backwards, he uses it to change his reverse direction to stop on the spot and even effectively move forwards a little. And that's characterized by a drop of his center of gravity into a leg with the heel raised to get that elastic stretch shortening cycle while keeping the lead foot raised up off the floor to change his direction, to apply that stab of force and ride that spring energy return. And this time it takes about 0.35 seconds, which is effectively a slow stretch shortening cycle in this instance and he uses that energy to suddenly stop his direction of movement and evade that incoming lead hook from his opponent. And let's check those movements in, out again in, in real speed so you can see how he uses that elastic spring return. Once Sanchai gets his bounce on, then you're in trouble. 
การฝึกฝนครับเนี่ยทำให้เก่งจริงทำไม่ได้ครับ So we can see we need a mixture of both fast and slow stretch shortening cycle exercises in your training program to develop the qualities that you need to move like Sanchai with that explosive elastic ability. And we'll begin by looking at some fast stretch shortening cycle plyometric exercises. And this first example uses alternate leg low hurdle bounds. The stronger and stiffer you can make your muscles, the faster you can keep your contact time. And this second example uses two-footed medium hurdle jumps. So if your muscle isn't sufficiently strong, and if you haven't calibrated the control of your muscles and tendons to handle that elastic recoil, you won't be able to bounce with this sharp contact on the floor. And the final fast stretch shortening cycle example I'm going to give you here are low hurdle hops. As we shift from two feet to one foot, the ground contact time can become longer. And only someone with sufficient strength and elastic control will be able to maintain a fast ground contact time between these hurdles. And the hurdles might have to be reduced in height to make this quick enough. We're looking for quarter of a second or less to qualify as fast stretch shortening cycle to get the training benefit we want. So these fast stretch shortening cycle exercises give you that elastic bouncing rebound energy that Sanchai was demonstrating when he got his flow going. Now let's look at slow stretch shortening cycle exercises. That will develop your ability to throw that kick cold without any bounce or telegraphing. The first example I'm going to give you here are scissor hurdle bounds. And here the ground contact time will be 0.3 to 0.4 seconds as it takes longer to arrest that force and change direction to come back over again. And the final example of slow stretch shortening cycle exercise are a box jump. And here I'm showing you an example of a 90 degree turning version. And here again, the ground contact time is typically 0.3 to 0.4 seconds and develops that ability to throw a kick cold without any bounce step or drop cut. And let's just take a, a final look again at Sanchai applying this elastic ability in his Muay Thai technique. So we can rapidly develop this elastic energy in the gym if we overload the movements and that will fast track it. So we can develop this bouncing quality that Sanchai has in spades that we won't get if we don't develop it in the right way. And just because you're naturally not too elastic, it doesn't mean you can't make that much, much better if you get your training right. And if you'd like to learn more ways of improving your Muay Thai ability, check out our heavy hitters resources at heatrick.com or even our Muay Thai performance courses to make the quickest progress possible.